On a relaxed afternoon, Gul comes looking for Hop. She is looking at Hop tells Gul that she has never seen such big numbers and doesn't know how to read them. Hop tells Gul that they should find Thud and ask him to explain the numbers to them. Let's learn about large numbers. They find Thud and show him the numbers. They ask him if he can help them understand these big numbers. Thad says he will help them. He asks them if they have learned that there are two systems of numbers, the Indian system and the international system. Hop says that they have learned about the two systems from Crow. When we try to read a big number, we need to know how many places or periods on the place value chart it covers. Instead of counting the number of digits every time, we separate the digits with commas to mark the periods. So the commas separate the different periods and the number becomes easy to read. The place for the commas is different depending on which system of numbers we use. Do you remember the place value chart in the Indian system? It looks like this. If we bring the number into this chart, we see that the commas mark the different periods. So, we can easily read the number 4 crore 78 lakh 21,573. Just a string of numbers is difficult to read. But like this, it is easy to read. So, this is the way to write numbers in the Indian system. In the international system of numbers, the place value chart has different periods. So the commas separate the digits in this pattern. If we take the same number, the commas will separate the ones and the thousands period from the millions period like this. Here we read the number as 47 million. 821,573. These are the different ways of putting commas in between digits of large numbers to make them easy to read.